morning, Nath. Morning, Trev. How are you doing, alright? I'm alright, you alright? Not too bad, yeah, not too bad. Back out? Yeah. Back onto the moors. Bit of Dartmoor, bit of a, you know, Sunday afternoon, stroke morning, stroke. Yeah, it's more. Well, at the moment, it's still morning. Well, I just wanted to make it sound a bit casual, a bit laid back. It's a bit more casual right. today, isn't it? We ain't got all our camping gear, we're not camping today. We bought cameras today, didn't we? DSLRs. Yeah, I bought myself a new um, Nikon. It's not all singing or dancing. It's not a full frame. It's even, not even the top of the range of the DX format. It's not even the most recent model of this model. But it's better than the one that I was using. So we're just going to... Have a tip about. Yeah, have a dick around with the cameras. and Moreland. Moreland, a bit strolling. Going to see some stone circles. We're at Gidley today. Gidley. A new area we've not been to. Gonna kind of take in Kestor Rock, Stone Circles, Gidley Tour. So you must be telling them about where the hell, I know. Like, oh, I better set me a few ranger going. What do I need to do? I need to set on my GPS. What was it? Nothing. Got some on my chin? No, I said I've got no beard. Oh, Nate's got no beard? It's better to be honest, Nate. It was a shit beard, wasn't it? It was a shit beard. It just looked a bit like a dirty old biker. The look I was going for. Yeah, right. So no judgment. <laughs> I actually. You look better without it. Cheers, mate. Say. Thanks, yeah. Sorry, I'm a little sensitive about my hair. Anyway, this is Gidley. This is Dartmoor. Welcome to Summit on Nothing. It's a beautiful day today, out in the moor, it's a bit nippy, colder than I was anticipating. If I had the camera on in my house this morning when Trev turned up, it would have seen me foolishly removing the gloves from my backpack. I've got my sleeves undone, covering my fingers up as best I can. We're going to try and do some photography, which requires a lot of fiddly work with buttons on the camera, so that's probably going to be quite painful. Uh, I'm guessing we'll man up to it in a minute, but we've sort of come come on to the moor. Trev's bought a map of a walk that he's printed off, and uh, we can sort of pretty much see a rough outline of the circular walk of where we're going. It's not a massive walk, but we're going to sort of try and make it a bit more fun, obviously getting the cameras out and that. So it should be good. Hopefully you guys will enjoy joining us, and uh, we'll see what happens. It's an absolutely beautiful area. So as soon as you walk through that gate, you're just sort of up in the open. We're heading down towards the Stone Circle, which is the uh, Score Hill Stone Circle. Very cold today, very cold. I cannot feel my fingers. over in the distance there again we can see Steeperton with the opposite side of Steeperton than we usually come and there's the stone circles Obviously now not all the stones are standing, but it's funny how like they're mainly in clusters of three that are still standing. Whether that is how they was originally set out. A lovely vast area. 
around here. See for miles, even down in this dip, you know. So I've been reading some books lately on composition and getting a bit more up on photography. I'm trying to sort of uh... slowly start to apply some of the sort of rules of composition to the photos that I'm taking. Yeah, I bought a Nikon D5300. I was using a Nikon D3100 before, which I've had for about four years. It's gone from 14 to 24 megapixels. Just generally a better camera. It's not a huge step up, but it is a step up. I bought an entry level camera to see if I'd get into it, and I'm still into it after four years, so I thought I'd spend a bit more money. I think I deduced that that was Watton Tour up there behind me. Still many tours, many areas to have a look at here, haven't we? And then Kestel Rock over there, standing proudly. It's going to be like the, one of the final places we go today on our circular. amazing here today it's like sunny but you've got these dark clouds so the sky is dark and moody but the moorland is gold and crisp it's just real contrast in images so yeah beautiful area whether this skylight is making it seem all the more impressive i like it little bridge and a stream here and I'm sure there are some wonderful little photographic opportunities here. What I have been looking at is where you can slow the motion of water down by using a long exposure. So I just took my camera out briefly and uh, even on its smallest aperture setting I can't, can't slow down uh, the shutter speed enough and still retain a decent exposure to get the shot. I think the solution is neutral density filters so I might have to look at investing in some of them when I'm not spending quite so much money on uh, replacing my toilet. <laughs> 